Today I want to tell you about my experience with this Blue Ox Patriot 3 brake controller. I've been using this for about three years for towing my Honda. It's a 2013 Honda CRV that I'm flat towing behind the RV. And what this brake controller does is it sits in the towed vehicle. It's got a claw that hooks on to the brake pedal. You plug this into the cigarette lighter of your towed vehicle. And then this, then you go through a quick little setup routine, which I'll show you in a minute. And what this does is whenever it senses, whenever the RV is slowing down due to the RV brakes being applied, and then this applies the brakes in the towed vehicle. It's a progressive uh, brake controller, meaning that the harder you brake in the RV, the harder this will brake as well. Um, it's a simple system. It's, there's no wires that have to go between the RV and the controller, and I've had very good experience with it. Okay, the second component used with this brake controller is um, this control head. This goes in the RV on your dashboard. It also plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter. And you'll, I'll show you when I demonstrate this, but this will actually allow you to set the sensitivity and the braking power, and also just to do a test of the brake controller to make sure it's working right. Okay, here's how easy it is to install this. You set it on the floor. You take the claw here, it's spring-loaded. There's a little button I'm gonna press. I put that under the brake. Let's press that button, it, it clamps down on there with the springs. Now I just need to move the seat forward until I've got about a half an inch of clearance there. I don't want it too tight. Now I'm gonna plug this into the cigarette lighter. Turn the key to the accessory position making sure that my steering wheel is still active. It's not locking up. And now I turn on the power. I see a green light, blue and green flashing. Now I press setup. And you can see it pushing on the brake pedal. And I need to look for a green, solid green light. Okay, that tells me it's working properly. All right, now I come up here. Now this is the head that would normally be in the RV, but I've got it back here in the Honda, just so that I can show you how it works. I can change the force, and this is something you experiment with a little bit. I usually like to have a force of about eight. I press okay. Um, I, I can look at the menu. It's got sensitivity, that's an important one. Um, the sensitivity's at eight. I'm gonna back that down to seven. So I've got sensitivity set at eight right now i'm going to click ok and i'm going to back that down to seven click ok um, now i'm going to go down to it's already paired with the remote uh, the backlight is on max force let's change the max force down to seven down to uh or up to eight click the plus max force okay everything's ready to go here i'm gonna click ok so now um, there's a backlight that I can turn on. Now I'll show you, if I press this brake button, it should activate the brake. So I'm gonna press the button. And you can see it's doing a manual brake. I'll press it again. And that's all there is to it. Very simple, very effective. Um, gives you a lot of peace of mind when you're towing on the road because there are gonna be times when you have to do an emergency stop. And it's good to have that extra braking on your, on your towed vehicle.